I'm here with Yannick Bellore. Thank you, dear. Have us. Uh, tell us, we're in the new Havas village in London. Tell us, what is it? What, what's the big deal? So it's a big deal. You said it in your question. 1,700 people gather in the same new home in King's Cross at the intersection of uh, creativity with St. Francis and Martins and technology with Google, together breaking the silos. It's really super exciting and uh, the, atmosphere, the atmosphere is vibrant and people are super excited by the move ahead of us. Um, we've had Brexit in the UK. Uh, at the end of uh, last year you were reporting a bit of a slowdown in revenue. Uh, how worrying is the Brexit and is, uh, is it affecting your plans in the UK? Oh, finally, the Brexit uh, didn't have any uh, negative impact on our uh, results because the end of the year has been very good for our UK operation. Uh, the year is also off to a good start, so for now, uh, as surprising that, as it could be, the, uh, I mean, besides the uh, effects, the currency effect, uh, the economy is still uh, robust uh, for us in the UK. Huh? Okay, good. Well, when it comes to uh, today, you've also announced that you're moving to one P&L, one profit and loss account, and have us creative and media emerging. What does that mean? I really believe that we need to, to rebundle uh, the different disciplines. Uh, the, I would say the, the shift uh, to a network organized uh, a group uh, that all the industry did 20 years ago uh, is not relevant anymore where uh, because of the digital we need to put everything back together. So we are moving to, uh, uh, I would say, a network uh, centric approach to clearly a client centric approach with the model of uh, countries uh, uh, origin uh, uh, centrally organized with one PNL by country, so I think the group will be much more effective, much more lean, and much more agile in uh, better meeting clients' expectations. And doesn't it mean that you're killing quite a few of your own brands to do this? No, the idea is not to kill uh, anyone or uh, any brand, it's really to simplify, to streamline. So I think that uh, uh, simplicity, as Da Vinci was saying, is the ultimate sophistication and I really try to apply that to, to have us. Now, talking about simplicity, Mark Pritchard of Procter & Gamble talks about a murky and fraudulent media supply chain. Everything is very complicated. He also was uh, critical of uh, contracts with agencies and said they need to be tighter. What is uh, the view from Havas? Well, he should uh, work with Havas because we have uh, set up a tool of fully transparent uh, ways to do programmatic buying. It's a new tool that we are installing into uh, uh, client solution, fully transparent. They can operate from their, their office, we can operate them. It's really four hands uh, uh, maneuverable. It's really uh, the new uh, cool things on the block, as we can say. The new tool, I think, of the future that could be uh, a game changer in the market. And uh, do you feel like there is a problem with the supply chain? This Procter & Gamble is the biggest advertiser and it seems it's saying it's very well. I think there are too many intermediaries between the media agency or the client and the, and the, the, the media owner or the uh, SSPs. So the idea is really to recreate in the, uh, uh, in the digital value chain what we have in the traditional value chain where the uh, media agency buys directly uh, uh, to media owners or their representatives through SSPs and to design the best tools. So I really believe that uh, the integration in this space uh, will happen in the coming, uh, in the coming years. And, uh, uh, that our tools, uh, I would say, fully uh, transparent, is really a good uh, answer to some concerns uh, uh, people could have in the industry. Okay. Thank you.